Hey guys, so today I'm going to actually show you some of my different lines. Here you can see is a juvenile male fancy spotted New Mexico. Now these actually come from a locale in New Mexico where they're actually very rare even in the locale they exist. You can see over a hundred collared lizards throughout that area and maybe not even see one of these or maybe get lucky and finally see one. But what these guys have, as you can see, I'll zoom in here on the guy's back, they actually have retained neonatal spotting. So a lot of the collared lizards that you get, when you see them as babies or neonates, they actually have an interesting spotting pattern. Now who knows through evolution or whatever if they've evolved to have that pattern to help them camouflage themselves in. But a lot of them, as they mature, they'll actually lose that color and get more of the mature colors in. But as you can see, this juvenile male still has all of his black spotting on his back, which is pretty unique and is unique to a lot of my fancy spotted New Mexicos. As you saw in the pictures earlier, you can really tell that some of these guys have some pretty sick and cool patterns. So what I'm going to do today is show you a bunch of the different guys that I have, and hopefully you guys enjoy. Here's another fancy spot in New Mexico female. You can see I have a nest box in there for where she laid earlier this year. The male actually isn't out right now, but you can see I do have some cactus and then her little nest box where I actually set it up with a foot by foot, um, 12 inch by 12 inch tile, and I actually use some bricks underneath. And this generally allows to hold moisture and they tend to like it. They'll sleep in there even when I don't have it moisturized during breeding season and then little cactus woods. Here's a funny video for you. I got one of my fancy spotted New Mexico males on top of one of the females. I actually have a container of crickets right next to me so they're trying to get over to it but you can tell they really love their food and you can really look into this male and just truly appreciate the fancy spotted patterns on these guys. And this is definitely unique. There's not really found. There's been some other areas in Texas that have had these patterns, but unfortunately some of those populations have lost this characteristic. So this is one unique thing that I love to really work on and continue to work on with my fancy spotted New Mexico guys. So I hope you guys are enjoying these videos and I got a few more to show you. Here you can see in the back one of my well-seasoned breeder fancy spotted New Mexico females. Um, she's generally one of my best producers, sometimes even has two clutches a year. She's with that one male with the giant black spot. Here I have one of my juvenile Aquaflame males. You can see he loves being held, literally just chilling here in my hand, not even doing anything. I taught these guys to be held early in the morning. So again, he'll look around, but stay in my hand and I'll actually offer him some food. You can see he has really, really low, low yellow. I don't even think he has any yellow in him, completely blue. I get this sometimes in my Aquaflames, but Decided to keep this guy and actually lucked out that he was one of the ones that had this trait in the tank right over here. I actually have his mate. She's got more of a greenish tone to him. So I'm actually excited to see what they will produce next year. You can see back there. She did slightly blush this year, even though I didn't put her through a brumation period. But they didn't mate and she was too young to actually produce anyway. But again, I'm excited and this is an Aquaflame male here. And again, generally when they're babies, you start holding them early in the morning and they love it. And he is used to it. Normally he'll pancake out just thinking his heat and then he'll start looking for some super worms or other snacks. But I train all my guys to do this. I could walk around the whole entire room and he'll just stay in my hand. So again, collared lizards are great to work with. They love to be held and they're really cool pets. So I truly suggest trying to get one of these guys eventually. 
Here's another one of my aqua flame males. He's actually about to shed. You can see some shed build up on him and the more grayish tone, but you can see he actually has more of a yellow distribution in him and it's got a lot of nice color. His female is right back there chilling on her little cave. But again, they love to be held. It's really cool working with these guys and just generally aqua flame is an amazing collar lizard to have. This guy here honestly has to be one of my favorite guys. Just grabbed him, the lights literally just turned on so you can see his color and he's actually looking for snacks already because he's used to me giving him some super worms while I hold him. But he actually has two of his ladies down here. This lady is amazing. One of my most colorful females that I have. And then I have another female right here. She's still when brighting up. Again, it's early in the morning, but you can still see some of the green tones and the orange and yellow on her. But again, this male is one of my most successful breeding males. I get a lot of attention on the post seed, especially when he's heated up. Looks like he's actually about to shed sometime soon too. But when he's heated up, he gets some really dark blues and yellows. And just his general aqua flame spread, as you can see from the other video that maybe after this or maybe before this, um, the other male has pretty much no yellow in him and this guy has actually an extreme distribution of yellow. It's pretty cool and I love this guy. He's a really good breeder and had him for several years now and he's just like his dad had a great spread of yellow in him and truly blessed to be able to work with these guys. Here we have one of my Aquaflame juvenile males. Planning to breed him next year. You can already see that he has some amazing blues and greens and yellows coming in. So hopefully we can have a successful year with him for the first time next year, pairing him up with some gorgeous young ladies. So when it comes to feeding time, generally, and I actually like to dust pretty much two to three times a day with these are actually a really rare species of collared lizard. The first captive bred of these guys in the United States.